I'm Hava and today we're exploring Prospect Park. Prospect Park is a 526 acre green space in Brooklyn with lovely natural areas, activities, landmarks, and so much more. Because there is way more in this park than I could possibly cover in a single episode, this is my second episode on Prospect Park and we will be focusing on the highlights of the southern half of Prospect Park. Is that this very much feels like the central park of Brooklyn. So it's a pretty big deal. There's a lot of great things to do here. Early on in the last video, I showed you Long Meadow, which was this amazing long stretch of meadow where people were playing sports and just chilling and having picnics. And now we are in Nethermead, which is another meadow in Prospect Park. And people are, you know, I feel like it's much more family oriented here, at least just the crowd that's here right now. A lot of that picnicking, a lot of dogs. You can even bring your dogs off leash here. It's permitted. So yeah, it's just another relaxing meadow. It doesn't seem as active as Long Meadow. So this is much more chill, family, dogs, whereas the last one had all of that and more. Kite flying and volleyball, and there was even a little band there. I wanted to stop by here because there's something really interesting that you might not expect to find in a huge city park, which is the Quaker Cemetery. This is actually private land within the park, and it's actually older than Prospect Park itself, but it is closed off to the public. So we're just kind of peeking from the outside. all these steps really fast and this is called lookout hill i thought there would be a lookout ah i don't see any kind of view i read online that lookout hill is, is the highest point in prospect park at 177 feet high and that it has the best views in prospect park and overlooks the prospect park lake but i am seeing none of that what you see in my background is what i see in front of me and have seen in front of me before you just saw it if that makes sense <laughs> so what I mean, there can't possibly be two spots. Well, there were two meadows. I guess there could be two spots that go up like all these stairs, but I'm not looking for another. I will accept defeat. You know what? I take that back. I'm going to find it. It turns out when you go up all these steps, if you don't go up just by the actual lookout hill, there's this whole area of land that's elevated, I guess. So all these trails around me, they're all up most of the steps that I took. So I am following my map. Um, like literally Google Maps, it's actually really helpful to navigate Prospect Park, but not Central Park from my experience. So we are heading to hopefully the real Lookout Hill. It doesn't say Lookout Hill right here, but according to the map, this must be the spot that leads me to Lookout Hill, especially because there's nothing for that way. So let's check it out. certainly cannot be Lookout Hill because we're going downhill. So I have no idea about Lookout Hill, but at this point I am just taking this path wherever it takes me because I want to get down and I want to move on to the next thing in this video. This is the Well House. It's one of the oldest structures in the park and hence the name. The Well House once pumped water into the reservoir that supplied all the bodies of water in Prospect Park with the water because all the bodies of water in Prospect Park are man-made. Now it's New York City's first compostable restroom in a city park. And if you're wondering what compostable bathrooms are, it means that the toilets use a certain process that turns human waste into compost-like material using decomposition. So it's a very sustainable type of effort. And as someone who is all about being eco-friendly, I'm really excited to go to use this bathroom. Like I don't particularly have to go, but I'm gonna try. And I'm not taking you with me. For the first time in my life, I did not know how to work a toilet. I mean, I guess since I was potty trained, but I don't have any memory of that. Um, it was like a long tube. I would have actually taken footage of it if it was clean, but honestly, it was pretty gross in there, so I wasn't gonna do that to you. And uh, it said to flush before and after operating, but then when I pressed the button, all the foamy soap started happening around the bowl, so I don't know. It also said to close the lid, and there was no lid, so mystery, but at least my pee went down a chute, and hopefully it'll become decomposed material. 
to have made it to Breeze Hill, which actually doesn't look like anything special at all. I came up here because I read that Smorgasburg, which is the largest weekly open air food market in America, happens here on Sundays at Prospect Park on Breeze Hill. I actually did make a video about Smorgasburg. If you're interested in that, the link will be in the description below and up here. And that's actually the Williamsburg location. But I'm curious about the Prospect Park location. I'm wondering if it's the same, bigger, lively, more, less lively. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going and let's see what's next. Lincoln statue, onward. from the LaFrac Center at Lakeside because they had a lot of copyright music blasting because they were having roller rinks, a big active roller rink because they do seasonal activities like roller skating and ice skating and even bike and boat rentals because right here is the Prospect Park Lake. And the Prospect Park Lake, I think this is where it begins. It may not be officially the area called the lake, but like the whole thing is connected. So I'm gonna call it the lake. It is 50 acres and you can get boat rentals from the lakeside. And the other thing you can do over there is you can go to the Bluestone Cafe, which is good. But I think it was closed when I was there. I don't know. I'm just kind of in a hurry, to be honest. So I need to wrap up this video. This isn't something I intentionally planned to cover in the video, but it seems like Prospect Park actually is lively in the evening time too. I mean, it's a Saturday night, it's a long weekend, it's Labor Day weekend when I'm filming this, but I mean, people are here, they brought lawn chair, or camping chairs, and they're playing music, and there's kids, and people are playing, people are hanging out, so wow, it's like whole new life in the evening now. This is the Prospect Park Perry style, also known as the Gratian Shelter. Hopefully I'm pronouncing those names correctly. And it's the columns are made of limestone and it was designed by the same architect as who designed Penn Station. This video has been a little bit rushed because I've been losing light. As you can see, the camera is not even having an easy time focusing on my face. Ah, there we go. And uh, I mean, as far as the southern half of Prospect Park goes, to me, it wasn't nearly as exciting as the northern half. And I don't know if that's because I've been in a little bit of a rush or just because it's not as lively. I mean, the lakeside area, I thought that was gonna be a little bit more exciting. But the other thing is it could be the time of day. The fact that it's evening winding down, things are kind of, closing the energy is changing so i'm not sure i could give this a fair shot without reviewing without trying a couple of these spots again during the day i mean i think some of them are kind of like okay i saw the Abe lincoln statue okay but it could be really neat to to do a pedal boat in prospect park lake so that's the kind of thing where it's like i don't know it could be cool but as far as like the meadows go i definitely felt like the one in the northern half was more exciting again i've got the links in the description to that video which i'm talking about prospect park north and also other park videos like central park and pelham bay park all in the description below there's going to be one right here as well and with that make sure you subscribe have notifications turn on and like this video while you're at it so that you'll know as soon as other fun videos like this come to the channel or other fun videos if you didn't feel like this was fun because i'm not sure anyway Follow me on Instagram. You've got my handle. I would love to know who you are. Please introduce yourself in a DM or a comment. You can even comment down below if you're not on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you in the next video. 